Hi y'all. My name's Ari McKinney and this is Dish with Ari. What made you decide to start Dish with Ari? <laughs> Dish with Ari as therapy. <laughs> Um, in 2013, I was diagnosed with celiac disease and um, as a brand new mom and you know, just coming out of being hospitalized for something that I had no idea that I had, um, kind of like my whole world turned upside down as far as what I was eating, um, you know, where I could go um, in terms of going out to eat with other people, social life changes, and it, it has a uh, an effect that you don't really expect and so writing um, kind of became a way for me to a keep track of how I was able to turn uh, recipes that I loved but couldn't eat the way that I was used to eating them into celiac friendly recipes um, but also as a way to vent my frustrations and you know just just document and, and just to just release you know the frustration that I was feeling at the time. So then what about the food really makes you passionate about what you do? Food has always um, played a large you know, role in my life. I've always had a very healthy relationship with food. Um, my grandmother, uncle, um, you know, used to cater, my father, mother, um, they all love to cook. So um, it's something that I've grown up doing for as long as I can remember. Um, I love to cook, I love to eat. Um, the way that I travel is, is highly influenced by my love of food. Um, you know, I, I joke that I travel to, to eat my way through through countries and through cities. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it permeates every, every, you know, thread of my life, which was why being diagnosed with, you know, an autoimmune disease and food allergies was, was such a, a blow to me initially. Um, but you know, I just love the way you can connect with people through food. You learn about cultures, you learn, you know, food crosses language barriers, um, all kinds of things. And I've learned so many things through, you know, just stepping into someone else's kitchen or having them step into mine. And so, um, yeah, I just, I just, I just love it for that reason. Favorite continent's worth of food? <laughs> oh God, that's impossible. Um, <laughs> I would say in general, any country where they eat a lot of spicy food, I love it the hotter the better. So I'm hugely into Thai food, um, you know, I love Latin food, um, yeah, anything where there's a lot of peppers, spices, heavy on that, I'm, I'm going to love it. So. Favorite continent to eat? Oh god, that is a tough one. Um, I will say any country... Um, or you know type of food where they are heavy on the spices. I love spicy food So I'm always a big fan of Indian food, Thai food um, You know anything of that nature the hotter the better for me. <laughs> Do you have a favorite dish yet? Oof. Um, I'm a mid-Atlanticer. I'm from New Jersey originally, so I am um, Pretty much in love with anything that has seafood in it. So you give me anything with a lobster crab scallop <laughs> whatever I, it's it's going to get eaten so um, my favorite lately um, is, is a gluten-free um, lobster mac and cheese that I have just uh, whipped up and um, yeah I've even, even figured out some uh, way to make some gluten-free uh, crumble on top so I can have almost a panko like topping on it so um, you know the test kitchen has been has been busy lately so that'll be coming to the 